You know, we're, we're fortunate to have such a treasure in our backyard right here in the 48th district. Last year, about 31,000 people visited the museum. Most of you know me, I'm Bob Jordan, uh, president of the Pennsylvania Trolley Museum. We're here to celebrate the culmination of years, decades literally, of work that has gone into res restoration of one of the first three streetcars that came to this site uh, under, on its own power uh, in 1954. We're also here to celebrate the future and the, the future of the Trolley Museum. You're literally sitting on what's going to be Trolley Street. We have a lot to celebrate here. I'm very proud of the museum because we're, really a, we're a community organization with a capital C. And I'm very proud that we're in Washington County. And Washington County has been our home now for almost 65 years. We're uh, very proud of, of, the, of the recognition that we've been receiving. The uh, Pennsylvania Trolley Museum's been on the Pittsburgh Business Times top 20 lists of regional museums now for a number of years. We are bringing in over 31,000 people a year. We're actually number eight on their Business Times list of nonprofits because of our volunteer corps. And last year we won the institutional award from PA Museums for the preservation and relocation interpretation of our Wexford trolley station and the Observe Reporter which is our local newspaper here in Washington County did a best of the best awards and we were named best museum and best local attractions. What a great day to celebrate the uh, the ongoing work of the Pennsylvania Trolley Museum and the restoration of West Penn Railway streetcar number 832, also known as Miss Brackenridge. The trolley system itself, uh, you know, it, it, this, the system has such a deep history in Pennsylvania, and much of it is tied to community and economic development in Allegheny, Westmoreland, uh, Washington, and Fayette counties. Uh, and even today, number 832 continues to serve the economy of the state. Much of the restoration work on this beautiful car was completed by Pennsylvania companies and Pennsylvania residents. But throughout the country, and certainly here in Pennsylvania, it was the trolley systems that really were intrinsically tied to economic development and community development. They provided the first mass movement of people, opening communities to growth. They provided companies with a means of getting employees to and from work, and then a tourism and recreation accessible to all citizens. The team here at the Pennsylvania Trolley Museum does a great job preserving and interpreting this important work of our history. Your efforts here contribute to the fantastic numbers that we see in the state's tourism industry, which drives $32.9 billion into our economy. My wife and I moved here in 2008, and one of the things that was so obvious to us is the appreciation in Southwest Pennsylvania for the heritage the family heritage, the heritage of where things have come from and how it's grown. And to be a part of the heritage here at the museum is something that we cherish. You know, the trolley system was a key part of our heritage, something that when we look back upon, we're proud. Proud, when we, when we celebrated our 100 year anniversary in 2016, that was one of the segments of our history, of our legacy that brought a lot of pride to us as a company. This, uh, this car didn't just grow. There was, there was a little, little history. The, uh, the company that it, that it ran for really dates back operationally to 1894 when the citizens in Tarentum put together the Tarentum Traction Passenger Railway to uh, carry people to and from the, the growing industrial area that was developing in the flats of the lower Allegheny Valley. One of the objectives in the late 1920s was to convert the operation from two men on a car to one man on a car. And that's the reason we have car 832. For an order of 12 cars that was to be operated by one man, they were to look pretty, and they were to be as modern a car as, as could be had. Car 832 ran on the South Connellsville route until the end of service, end of West Penn service in 1952. When West Penn quit the trolley business for good, the Pittsburgh Electric Railway Club purchased the car.
This is this is little John Swindler at six years old. This is an actual, no, I'm not kidding. This is John Swindler. So we want to give this honor to the guy who's been waiting the longest for it. So he's already been planning for this, waiting for it for 65 years. The restoration of this trolley and the continued expansion of the museum will enhance the museum's national reputation and deepen its educational impact. One of the first books I remember reading as a kid was The Little Engine That Could. <laughs> one of the first books I bought my son was The Little Engine That Could. One of the first books that I read to my grandson, The Little Engine That Could. The Little Engine That Could is about hard work and optimism. And it's about reaching the mountaintop. The Little Engine took the job that the other engines wouldn't. And you know, the trolley museum is the little engine that could. And the visitor center, that's our mountaintop. Thank you.